Hey, welcome back. All right, today I'm gonna share with you my monthly manis for May. Let me start off by showing you what's on my nails. Today I'm doing a twin mani with Lisa and we're wearing painted polish. Just made this. And I really like this. Got this one from Polish Pickup a couple years ago. Okay, I started off the month wearing OPI's summer monday to fridays really beautiful color not the best formula um, on its own i had to do three coats just to mask the streakiness but for this mani i did two coats because i knew that i was putting two toppers on so i wore glam polish royal bling so so beautiful love this topper and then i wore poseidon by my brand never naked by jackie and this combination was so pretty i really like this Okay, then I decided to wear something neutral, so I wore Color Club's hashtag sponsored. Really like this. Really nice formula. My swatch picture isn't the best. Um, my swatch looks like my nails are very ridged, um, but in real life, I really like this, and it was really pretty. Okay, then a bunch of us on Instagram did a collab for Luis, um, Loopy Frog, here on, in, on YouTube. Um, she had recently had surgery, and so we decided to do a collab just to show her some love. And the theme was green with either frogs or love. So I use Plastic Jungle as my base, and then I decided to do some stamping. I went through all of my plates, and I could not find a single frog, which I can't believe out of all my plates I didn't have any frogs. So then I decided to do love, and I decided that since she had had surgery and since I'm a nurse that I would do a medical spin on it so I used my medical plate and I did some um, cardiac carts on it and then on my pinky I use a dotting tool to just freehand a red heart and I really liked how it turned out and I'm really glad that we all did a fun collab for Luis okay then I did a jelly sandwich so my intention was to use opi's can't control me to just do one coat as a base and then to do my glitter and then my jelly on top so i ended up i wanted to do one coat of this this was very streaky and i had to do two coats or i think i might have even had to do i think i did two coats but it was still really streaky and then my plan was to do two glitters and then two jellies and to really make a jelly sandwich. And this was just going to be a light base just to darken up the, or to make the base more opaque. But because this was so streaky, I had to do two coats. And then that meant that I couldn't do two and two because then the mani was just gonna be so thick and gloopy. So I ended up doing two, one and one, and then it didn't really end up looking like a jelly sandwich. It basically just looked like I did a base with a topper. So it didn't turn out the way I wanted it to. On my nail wheel, when I did this on the nail wheel and I did one coat and then two of this, it looked so good. But then on the nails, this just had such a bad formula and then it just didn't turn out the way I wanted it. However, I do still really like the color combo. I like the blue and the yellow. So I liked the Manny, but it just wasn't what I wanted it to be. So I would say it was a semi-fail. Oh, I didn't even say what the toppers were. Um, I used Pastel Yellow Mix by Fancy Gloss. And then the jelly was LA Colors Creature. All right, then I did a jelly sandwich that I really, really liked. I used OPI's Engagement to Be. And this is a beautiful jelly. It's kind of like a soft, almost taupe, but a really toned down, really soft taupe. Really, really beautiful. And this is a jelly. And then I layered Fancy Gloss Ethiopian Opal. And this one was able to be a true jelly sandwich. And this was so beautiful. My pictures don't do this justice, but this was so, so pretty. Absolutely love this. Okay, then I did a twin mani with Amy Sue. We wore Beesney's Lacquer, The Fruits of the Land. So pretty. Um, this one coat of this was pretty opaque and because it's so sparkly and has that shimmer, I could have gotten away with one coat, but I did three thin coats trying to really um, amp it up, like to make it 
more impactful to make it darker basically and it never got darker and I was looking at my original swatch picture and this faded several shades this used to be more of a teal like a darker teal and it faded to a very pale turquoisey aqua so this faded several several shades and it's still pretty I'm still happy with it but just disappointed that it faded so much and that I didn't get a chance to wear it um, in its original state. So next time I wear this, I will probably wear this over a teal base, but really pretty and I was glad to twin with Amy Sue. Okay, then I did a twin manual with Lisa. We wore Orly's Blue Iris. I love this one. I've worn this one before. So, so, so pretty. And then we each wore, I believe we each wore a glam polish topper. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we each wore a glam polish topper. My glam posh topper was Walking on Sunshine. So, so pretty. The pink and the gold. And then over this bluey purple was just really, really beautiful. I love this. Okay, then I wore New Colors number 992. It's a soft pink with this gold shimmer. Really pretty on the bottle. Um, on the nails, that gold shimmer didn't really show up that well. I couldn't get to photograph. It was just okay. And then it chipped within, or like major, major tip wear within like not even a day. I'd been wearing this for, I think I put this on before I went to work. And then before my shift was even over, I already had chipping and nail wear on this. So I'm going to declutter this. Um, it's pretty, just not the best formula and I just don't love it. So I'm gonna declutter that one. Okay, then I recently bought, I had bought some Cert Color Jellies and then a couple people in the comment section told me how Night Owl Lacquer had a new neon jelly collection out, which I didn't know because I really haven't been following polish brands at all. And so I went to check it out and I wasn't gonna buy them. I sat on my shopping cart for like a week and then I finally decided to just buy them. And then, so I bought the whole neon jelly collection and then I saw that they had a milky jelly collection and I decided to get two of them one of them being milk and mint. I thought this would be really cute for jelly sandwiches. So I made another jelly sandwich. I'm really into jelly sandwiches, you guys. And I used this. And then my glitter was, uh, what is this one called? Glitter Glam by Sally Hansen. It's just these greeny iridescent bar glitters. I did not love this menu, guys. Um, first of all, the two that I picked from the Milky Collection Day did not have good formulas. Um, three coats with my swatch pictures and they were still streaky so I did not love this and then with this I just I don't know I look I wore it for I think two days and I kept looking at it and I couldn't decide if I even really liked it and the overall bottom line is that I didn't like it um, I don't know so I'll keep this one and I'll try it with something else and I'll keep this and I'll try this with something else but I can see myself possibly decluttering these in the future or just using this as a topper to do, um, to make Crowley's look more squishy. Um, but I don't think I'll be wearing this on its own again and I'm not quite sure about this. All right, and then the last Manny of the month I really, really loved. I did a twin Manny with Krista many, many, many years ago. I wanna say it's probably been, I'd say at least like 10 years. Super Chick Lacquer had a one coat hollow collection that came out. Um, it had Realm of Erotica. It had a really beautiful, like deep blue. It had a rich green. It had um, like a berry colored one. I had the whole collection. They were all one coaters. This was back when I didn't love hollows and I didn't know until I had this hollow collection. And I kept them for years and I kept trying to wear them and I just didn't love them. And then I declared the entire collection, the entire one coat hollow collection. Um, and a few more years later and I started getting into hollows and then I kind of regretted that I had got rid of number one, one coat hollows. Number two, they were really expensive. I got rid of them. I kind of regretted it. And then when I was visiting Krista last year, she showed me this one polish cherub by Super Chick Lacquer, one coat red and I got the itch to have some more of these one coat hollows. So I went back on her website and I was tempted to get Realm of Erotica again, which is one that I had many, many, many years ago. And I decided to get Cherub instead because this is the one that Krista had and I really loved the cherry red. So I ordered this and then I ordered a couple other hollows. 
Um, I will say about this one, it is beautiful. It's the perfect cherry red that I absolutely love. It was not one coat for me, but the other thing that I'll say is that the hollows keep sinking to the bottom. Every time I, like when I went to wear it, when I received it in the mail, all the hollow was on the bottom. It completely sunk to the bottom. And then when I shook it up, it was very pink. It looks very pink, but on the nails, it is a true red. So I really love the color. It wasn't one coat like her original ones that I had. I did do two coats, but this was beautiful. And then when I went to pull it um, to do this video, all the glitters, all the hollow was completely on the bottom again. And I used my um, Pro Shaker. I used it twice and this is as much as it would mix up. So, and look at that. That looks like the, um, that scene from Nightmare Before Christmas when he's stepping out onto the thing that curls. That's what that reminds me of. Um, so not happy about that, but the polish itself is beautiful and I'm glad I got this. And I'm glad that I twinned with Krista. This was beautiful, it sparkled out in the sun, really, really enjoyed it. All right, you guys, that was everything that I wore in May. If you guys have any comments, leave them down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.